This video is only for those people that want to use a single line receiver such as the Spectrum Remote or the Fataba S-Bus. I'm using a Fataba S-Bus. So take your MicroBeast out, hook a power cord up to it with a switch. You don't have to have a switch, but it makes it a lot more convenient. Look at page 24 of your manual. I'm going for Fataba S-Bus, so I'm looking for a red flashing light. Spectrum guys, you'll be looking for purple. Standard receiver guys, you don't even have to do this. Hold down the button, then turn on the switch. Now, it lights off by default. That's your standard receiver guys. So hold the button down for a couple seconds. It'll turn purple. That's spectrum. Hold it down again. Flashing red. Now it's set to Fataba S bus. One quick press to save that and power off. Now you can hook your S bus cord up to your receiver or your spectrum adapter, which is an optional part to allow you to use a spectrum remote. And the other end hooks to your receiver per the manufacturer's instructions. In this case, I'm using a Fataba 6203 SB, and it hooks up just like that. This is the simplest way to get the MicroBeast working. Now we're going to get ready to hook up the servos. There's a couple uh, items that we have to go through and set up.